Located in the foothills of Kargar near Navi Mumbai, the Advanced Center for Treatment, Research and Education in Cancer or ACTRIC is one of the busiest hospitals in the country. Catering unconditional treatment and care to thousands of cancer patients every day. The Tata Memorial Center looks after approximately 125,000 new cancer patients every year and somewhere close to about 800,000 individuals on their follow-up. This constitutes about 10% of the national problem of cancer for India. The Advanced Center for Treatment and Education Research of Cancer in New Bombay is a sprawling center spread over about 77 acres of land. ACTREC is a unique institution under the Department of Atomic Energy, the Government of India, which has both clinical facilities as well as basic and translational research equipment. There are specialized treatments that happen in ACTREC, such as the bone marrow transplantation, complex surgeries and other procedures. ACTREC has one of the largest bone marrow transplant centers of the country where we do at least 70 to 80 transplants every year. ACTREC also has the state-of-art facilities of various other clinical departments such as radiology, radiotherapy, intervention radiology. In the radiology department, we have the state-of-art equipment, the PET-CT, the MRI, the mammography. ACTREC also has a very thriving radiation oncology department where complex radiation treatment are done through various equipment such as the true beam linear accelerator, the tomotherapy, and now in future through the proton therapy unit. And all these equipment have been very, very useful for ensuring that our patients get diagnosed correctly and then are treated in the right way. We are very grateful to many of the organizations who have come forward to donate to us many of these expensive equipment. Without their active participation, I don't think we would have been able to do what we do. Apart from providing state-of-the-art treatment to adults and housing a dedicated pediatric home in St. Jude's, ACTRIC also houses the Cancer Research Institute, where PhD students from all over the country collaborate to conduct tests and research to further accentuate the understanding of cancer and procure new cures to fight the disease. Cancer Research Institute is the research center of the Tata Hospital. We have about 23 well-established principal investigators and young PhD scholars who conduct basic and translational research. One of the research areas at CRI is uh, cancer biology. Uh, a tumor is formed due to uncontrolled uh, cell division. Uh, the process of cell division is helped by uh, the small structures in the cells called uh, centrosomes. A uh, majority of the cancer cells have more than one centrosome present in the cell because of which now these cells can divide into three or more uh, cells depending on the number of centrosomes which further can lead to cell death. Uh, one of the major areas that the lab focuses on is to understand how this works, how this process works and what are the factors that are involved in this process, that regulate this process so that we can identify proteins that help regulate this process which can further down the line be used for targeted therapy. Under the CRI facility, our lab is working in the field of epigenetics. Our aim is to find some abnormal protein in a cancer population. One can imagine a cancer cell that is being ruled by a monster and monster has its entire set of army. 
so we are looking for this monster which is one particular type of histone protein in a cancer cell so histone protein is a part of our genome and that is dna and histone makes up the genome which is also responsible for the expression of many genes so our aim is to find uh, some kind of superhero which can kill this monster and that can in a way kill a cancer cell in our lab we are trying to understand uh, a particular type of brain tumor that is glioblastoma we have established some models based on cells that have been derived from the patient's tumors and also some uh, mouse models by injecting the tumor cells into the brains after administering the conventional radiation and temozolomide therapy a subset of tumor cells they remain after the therapy and the tumor that comes back is more aggressive if we are able to target these protein in recurrent tumors patient survival eventually improves we have a very good animal house in which uh, many tumor models are generated both for conducting basic research and for preclinical studies apart from the well established or well equipped individual laboratories we also have facilities that house high end uh, state of art equipments also houses one of the largest epidemiology centers for cancer in the country the mission of center for cancer epidemiology is to identify burden of cancers to identify the lifestyle and the genetic risk factors of cancers and to conduct screening programs in the population for the common cancers in india in tata memorial center we are running a tobacco quit line When you buy a cigarette packet there is a telephone number written on it when you call that number that number takes you to our quit line where we are offering telephone based cessation services and we have helped lakhs of people by helping them quit tobacco which is the number one cause of cancer this to come Actrec will transform itself into a big hospital. We are adding at least 4 to 5 new projects which will transform this center from a 130 bedded hospital to about 900 beds. Among the 5 new projects in the pipeline are the Proton Therapy Center aimed at providing complex radiotherapy to highly complex cases of cancer. This is the first facility with three rotating gantries in the country. In this facility we intend to treat about 800 uh, patients with proton therapy every year. And an important thing is that a significant proportion of these patients we intend to treat completely free of cost. Apart from the hadron building The other upcoming projects include the vast solid tumor block holding 14 operation theaters. The largest nuclear facility in the world coming up at the radiological research unit with up to 41 beds. The Asha Nivas, a patient hostel facility donated by Infosys that can house up to 300 patients at a time. And the Sangvi building dedicated to patients with hematolymphoid and pediatric cancers we will need more help from many of our csr partners because when we expand to a 900 bedded hospital we will certainly require more equipment to diagnose and treat our patients mujhe 2019 november mein breast cancer detect hua tha एंड uh, मैं डायरेक्टली यहीं पर आई थी मुझे मेरे फ्रेंड्स से पता चला कि बहुत अच्छा यहाँ पे ट्रीटमेंट होता है मेरे को 2020 में पता चला सर मैं अपना डिस्ट्रिक्ट पहले भागलपुर में दिखाए उसके बाद पता चला तो वहाँ भी पता चला कि उससे अच्छा टाटा मेमोरियल हॉस्पिटल है मुंबई में गावी आस्था नमी अचानक आजारी पड़ लो स्थानिक डॉक्टर ना दाखवल आता अपने ब्लड कैंसर है तर तेनी पुढील उपचारासा टाटा हॉस्पिटल या ठिकाणी मला पाठवले ऑल माय रेडिएशन कीमो ब्राकी सर्जरी देन अगेन वन बायोप्सी वाज देयर एंड अगेन कीमो आल्सो स्टार्टेड इंजेक्शंस वेयर देयर सो 
सो ऑल टूगेदर ऑल द ट्रीटमेंट्स वर डन हियर एंड इट इज़ रियली डन नाइस यहाँ पे जो स्टाफ है बहुत ही अच्छा है डॉक्टर्स बहुत ही अच्छे हैं बहुत ही एक्सपीरियंस्ड हैं बहुत केयर करते हैं योग्य पद्धति ने बोन मेरा ट्रांसपोर्ट के लिए आता मुझे तबियत ठीक है वेदर इट इज़ अ रेडिएशन डॉक्टर और अ सर्जिकल डॉक्टर और एनी अदर कीमो डॉक्टर एवरी वन गिव मे वेरी नाइस सजेशन टाटा हॉस्पिटल पूरे ग्रुप के धन्यवाद देता हूँ मेरा इलाज अच्छा किया टाटा हॉस्पिटल से धन्यवाद थैंक यू टाटा हॉस्पिटल थैंक यू एक्ट्रेक द कोर मैंडेट ऑफ एक्ट्रेक एंड टाटा मेमोरियल सेंटर इज टू केयर फॉर अंडर प्रिवलेज पेशेंट्स फॉर दिस ऑल हेल्प इन द फॉर्म ऑफ फंड्स इक्विपमेंट एंड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर प्रोजेक्ट्स आर हाईली वेलकम दिस विल हेल्प अस to help care for our patients who are the ultimate reason for our existence